we can actually, I can show you now studies that have shown that the, the exact architecture of the solar system, if you change it even a little bit, none of this could happen. You know, because as it is now, you have this great reservoir of comets outside the orbit of Neptune called the Kuiper disk, right? At the inside of that, on the inner perimeter of that disk of comets, uh, comets are in a quasi-stable condition. In other words, it doesn't take much to perturb them from that position. But at the same time, there isn't much there to perturb them. So they generally are just slowly orbiting the sun. Well, what happens is conjunctions of the great outer planets, Uranus and Neptune primarily, the combined gravitational forces exerted on the inner part of the Kuiper disk are enough to dislodge comets and send them either, either the, the, the gravity effect, think of this, if you've got a gravity effect pulling on something from behind and it's moving this way, it's going to act as a braking mechanism. If it's ahead and drawing on it, it's going to act as an accelerating mechanism. Mm -hmm. So if you accelerate one of these objects, it moves out further from the sun. If you decelerate it, it moves in closer to the sun. What happens is, is that the conjunctions of the outer planets can move these comets inside the, the become within the sphere of influence of the planets. And it just so happens, and, and, and astrophysicists have worked out the mathematics of it, that the masses and the spacing of the four great outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, are exactly what they need to be to transport comets from the Kuiper disk to the inner solar system. And if you change that, even a little bit, you would lose this. They've referred to it as the 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 the, uh, the bucket mechanism, or the uh, uh, like a bucket handoff. Each planet will hand off the comet to the next one, and then when it gets to Jupiter, the big one, like you said earlier, Jupiter is either going to accelerate it and throw it back out, or it's going to decelerate it and send it in towards the sun, where it becomes an Earth crosser, where it begins to disaggregate and, in the process, um, fertilize the Earth with its constituents, which we now know are all kinds of interesting and exotic materials.